Hello and welcome to On The Ball on Forge TV. Coming up on the show. Our Give It Go section features the resident sport bouldering. And we get a roundup of the University of Sheffield sport team results after the first full fortnight of Bucks fixtures. But first of all, we're here at Activity Room 2 at the Goodwin Sports Centre to catch up with the University of Sheffield Boxing Club and one of their training sessions here. I'm Hugo Paliowski, I'm social secretary. I'm Ainoa Davis Sagarmendi and I'm ladies captain. First of all, do you just want to talk to us about the boxing club in general, when you have training sessions, things like that? Training sessions are beginner sessions, Monday 8.30 to 9.30, which is this session, and then there's intermediate, which is 7.30 to 8.30 on a Monday, and Thursday 8.30 to 9.30, and they're all here in activity room 2 of Goodwin. We've also got ladies sessions, ladies only sessions up at Encliff, uh, running on Wednesdays 6.30 to 7.30. With regards to what you do throughout the season, I mean, first of all, varsity is pretty big. I only started boxing about three years ago, but you won it for the first time last year, is that correct? Uh, yeah, we won it. Um, there was three varsity bouts uh, on a show of about 12 bouts, um, and we won two of the three varsity ones. So, yeah, we won that, which was like a huge success for the club, uh, and it was an absolutely brilliant night out. 900 people, it was a sellout crowd at the Oscar, 900 people, and the atmosphere was absolutely amazing. I've talked to a couple of the boxers who boxed there and people who weren't even affiliated with the university, and they said it's just it's the best show they've ever boxed in their lives. And these people have been boxing for about 10 years, mm -hmm. so it was absolutely fantastic and such a success. I mean, it was. I think it's, it was only men on the card. Are you hoping to get female boxers on the varsity card in the future? Oh, definitely, I think we're definitely working towards that. It's, it's definitely something that we'd like to do. There's like, quite a few people interested. Hopefully, we can get it going this year. If not this year, maybe next year, but we'll see. I just want to talk briefly about what else you do. Obviously there's training sessions and things like that, but how else can people get involved volunteering and other sorts of things within the boxing club? Yeah, we're doing, um, uh, we're doing volunteering as part of uh, working in the community. Basically the committee and a few of the other um, boxers who train with us are going to go out into schools on, uh, I think it's the 5th of... Um, well, the fifth that we're going to go do it on, um, so just coming up, and we're teaching boxing in schools and helping to bring sport like to the community. So we're also getting like quite a few of us are getting qualified as coaches as well as an opportunity to give back to the club and do our own sessions as well as getting coached ourselves. Next up, let's find out how our University of Sheffield sports teams did over the past fortnight in the Bucks season. Hi, I'm John Wignall and welcome to a four and a half Bucks results roundup. To begin with, from the Wednesday 22nd of October, the women's badminton first final took top of the Bucks league after an impressive 8-0 victory over the University of York. Following suit as the early high flyers are the basketball women's first after they recorded a 63-54 win over the University of Hull last Wednesday. In the football, there were contemporary wins for the men's thirds and fourths, who recorded four and three nil wins respectively. Following their lead were the women's seconds, who beat the University of Hull 5-1. There were wins in the hockey for the women's seconds, men's first, with the most notable victory coming for the women's thirds, who won 5-0 against the University of Hull. The result of the fortnight came in the fencing, where the women's first saw off the University of Leeds with a close four encounter, with the University of Sheffield coming out the eventual winners in a 135-132 scoreline. Moving on to squash now, and the men's seconds beat the University of Hull 3-0 and the thirds win by the same score against the University of Salford. So the best wins of the fortnight came from the Rugby Union men's first and the table tennis men's first. 
The rugby union side beat Lancaster University 52-12 and the table tennis team also beat Lancaster 13-4. At this time of recording, the University of Sheffield are 26th in the overall books league with 658 points, with the football leading the way with 68 points, one point ahead of the hockey teams with 67. Our team of the fortnight is the Women's Rugby Union first, who won both of their games over the fortnight. Last week they beat Un Liverpool Hope University 10-0 and can continue their good form this week against the University of Leeds, beats them 27-10 to send them top of their league. Finally, we went down to the Matrix Bouldering Wall to check out the resident sport bouldering. Hi, I'm Max Shalaby, and we're here today at the Goodwin Sports Centre Matrix Bouldering Wall for the resident sports bouldering. My name is David Hewitt and I work at Sport Sheffield as the bouldering instructor. So David, what can you tell us first of all about the resident sport? Okay, so the resident sport is an event that happens with bouldering on a, on a Friday evening between 7.20 and 10 o'clock and basically we run four sessions, 40 minute long, long each and uh, it's basically an introduction to bouldering so you can come down if you've not been before, absolutely no experience and you come down, try it out, see if you like it. And equally, if you have them before and you do have a little experience, you can come down for free and try it out there. And uh, if you need any kind of help along the way, then that's what I'm here for. Or if you just want to kind of have a go yourself, and then uh, I'll watch from a distance, that's also fine with me. Now, you've done bouldering for a long time now. Uh, reasonably. What makes bouldering such a great sport? Uh, the fact that you can get outside with it. So, a rainy day, you come inside, do a bit of training. But as soon as that sun shines, you can get outside. Now, imagine our viewers want to try it out. When can they next give it a go? Friday. Every, Every Friday. Friday. Every Friday, apart from turn time, uh, outside of turn time. I'm here with Caroline, who's doing bouldering for the first time. And Caroline, how are you enjoying it so far? I've really enjoyed it because I felt it was a comfortable atmosphere. So I felt that even if I might not be very good, I could just give it a try and I had nothing to lose. It wasn't as if I had to go to a private climbing wall and it was quite expensive. It, everyone was very welcoming, even on reception. and. It just felt very nice. What are the best features of bouldering? Why should people try it out? I think it makes you more aware of what your body can do when you're getting into all these different positions and trying to get up a wall. And I mean, so much of the things that people do now for entertainment, they're all screen based. And it's, uh, it's nice to get back to doing something physical and really using your hands and feet. Are you going to continue? I think I've been bitten by the bouldering bug, so I'm going to be back. Any student living in university accommodation can give bouldering a go, as well as many other sports, completely free of charge as part of the social sport program. To find out more, click the link below. That's it for this edition of On The Ball. We'll be back on Thursday the 13th of November for more university sport action. But until then, goodbye. <laughs>